Hey YouTubers, um, it's Dre Prince here and um, I have another uh, product to show you. It could have been an unboxing but unfortunately my phone died so uh, I just went ahead and took them out and tested them. Um, today I will be showing you some pumps and these are straight, um, straight through pumps. Uh, the reason why they call them that because it, Unlike a traditional pump where you have your inlet and your outlet at the top. This one, your inlet is right here. And your outlet is at the back. So it goes straight through. The water pass straight through. Um, the reason why I bought these pumps to replace the current pump in my rig was because uh, they have a better specs. Um, they have more versatility. They have uh, more compatibility as well with fittings. And overall, they're more stealthy. You know, they will be more stealthy in the case. Um, they have a little weight to it, yeah. Um, but my main reason of getting these pumps was because I'm going to mod my case again. Um, this won't be until probably more likely next year. So you guys got to wait a while. But in the meantime, I'll you know I will show you, you know, parts that I will buy for my case here and there. Um, so this will be the first piece, and I got two pumps because I want redundancy in terms of I want more head pressure, more flow, uh, pretty much double everything. More head pressure to push the water through the fittings and the radiators. I want more flow and uh, more redundancy in terms of if one pump should ever fail on me um, I have a second one that can back me up and keep in mind I paid one of these pumps cost twenty two dollars and fifty cent both of them they cost me in total was shipping about fifty four bucks so that's not bad for two pumps um, these pump one of these pumps can do 14 liters a minute or 22 gallons an hour or 3.7 gallons a minute so these pumps are very powerful they're no, no joke and they use 12 volts so you can run them directly off the power supply or you can use a fan controller to control it um, in my case I will use a fan controller to control them because I don't need both of them at max I mean that's just ridiculous so I wouldn't want that so my fan con controller will uh, control them in terms of speed so I will be mounting temp sensor in my case um, so that way you know when I'm playing games if the case get hot then the temp sensor will go up and once the temperature go up then it would in turn tell the pump give the pump more power to spin faster so pretty much the fan controller will be controlling these um, bit power make fittings compatible for these so I, have, I I don't have to cut off anything or make no modification nothing like that you know um, so I purchased some fittings and I will show you what that look like once I get it so yeah that's you know that's 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 pretty much it but I wanted to show you guys if you guys are into water cooling or thinking about water cooling and want to save some money I suggest you get one of these pumps um, as I said they're versatile you can um, this is the inlet and this is the outlet. You can see the difference. The inlet and the outlet. Um, you got to have make sure uh, water is flowing in this because it's not a self-priming pump. So therefore, you can mount it like this, upright, like this in your case, and make sure the water is flowing down in there. You can mount it sideways, but as long as just make sure the reservoir is above it, you know. Um, you can mount it this way as well. But as I said, if you're going to mount it this way, which this is with the inlet, you got to make sure that water, it has water to suck. As I said, you got to prime it. So, but as I said, this is well, 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 well versatile. Um, and uh, I, I, I'm i glad I bought them. As I said, you know, they look really good and they have good specs. These, um, these pump only consume 19.2 watts. And uh, they're rated at 24V, so you can use a, a pump controller like I have, 24V pump controller, and turn them up to the max. But in this case, as I said, 
at 12 volts these thing do 14 point uh 14 liters a minute so there's no need to use 24 volts on these so um but yeah i that's that's the that's the that's what i wanted to show you guys as i said if you're interested in water cooling and want to find a cheap pump and want to find the fittings to make it compatible with the fittings then I'll, sh I'll just let me know and i'll direct you to the website but I'll put a link under the, on under this video so you can see where I bought them from. They have other pumps other than this. They have plenty of other pumps that you can use for water cooling. So uh, just look through the site, support them. Um, you know, as I said, um, they're not like you know these pumps are not like the regular pumps you get for water cooling, like the MCP 35X, the MCP 350 um that those you know those pumps are already supported you know you can get custom tops and they already support for fittings but as i said you can go on performance pc or sidewinder computers and find uh, the fittings that will screw right on on top of these and that alone will make these compatible with any fittings you know what i'm saying so uh in the end to me paying 22 dollars for one of these pumps and buying a couple of fittings to put on it much much more cheaper than those uh name brand pumps out there that they um that don't even perform as well as these so um you know as i said um i highly recommend this product to anybody that wants to uh water cool but don't want to pay that large amount for similar performance so uh yeah that's it for me um if i buy anything else when the, actually when the fitting when the fittings arrive which will be on uh, Friday. I will do uh, show you how the fittings fit on there. Hopefully, fit on there. But that's it. This is Jay Prince, and I'm out.